Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Roland Stedham. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon right here in the Treasure Valley. And what we've been anticipating is happening. There's an approaching cold front and monsoon moisture and it's all combining to energize the atmosphere. Look at what's happening right now. We're gonna have uh, Ryan zoom in here with the camera on the Doppler radar imagery, just to give you a little orientation. Here is the Idaho-Oregon border right there. And we have a very strong thunderstorm that's now approaching Vail. So it's pushing into Northwest Malheur County. This thunderstorm is believed to be generating nickel size hail and 55 mile an hour winds. Then this thunderstorm that's moving over Baker City right now is a severe thunderstorm. In fact, the severe thunderstorm warning is in effect here for the next uh, about 45 minutes or so. And it is generating quarter size hail and 60 plus mile per hour winds. Don't go away. Look at what's happening right now, just popping up in Parma and around Adrian and Nyssa and approaching Homedale. That appears to be a very strong thunderstorm. And when you see the magenta color like this on the Doppler radar, that's an indication that there's likely some hail associated with that thunderstorm. And then all of a sudden coming off the Owyhee Mountains to the south between Melba and near Lake Lowell approaching Nampa, it looks like we have another thunderstorm that is in the making. So with these strong thunderstorms this evening, we can anticipate some areas seeing gusty winds in excess of 55 miles per hour. Blowing dust and sand is common with the scenario, possible hail, down trees, which would equate to power outages. Here's the thing, the temperature reading right now in Boise, at least at 4.30, it's scorching 106 degrees. This should be the last of the really hot days that we're going to be seeing. Temperatures from this point on will start working their way back down. Here's the average high right there of 95 degrees, and it looks like we finally hit the average on Friday, Saturday, 94. It's still gonna feel summer-like this weekend, but we're at least gonna get away from these scorching temperature readings. And there's the satellite imagery. Here's the makeup, the cold front's moving in. It's triggering these thunderstorms. It's a weak cold front, meaning there is not a lot of cold air associated with this front, but at least we'll get those temperatures dropping down into the 90s. And with this pattern, you know what? Some models say the smoke's gonna fade away. Some models say, no, it's gonna stay smoky. Bottom line is this weekend, I'm gonna continue to anticipate additional smoke in the Treasure Valley. That's because the thunderstorms that are, that are flaring up right now will likely ignite additional fires. Additional fires means additional smoke, and we're just in that doldrums time of the year for us here in the Treasure Valley, where the smoke from all the fires that burn out west just seem to converge right through the Snake River <clears throat> Basin. Smoke's been irritating me and my respiratory system. I've definitely had a few coughs every now and then, and it's all because of that. So take it easy on healthy air quality. Hopefully the air quality will gradually improve, but I would just say summer-like conditions this weekend, but we're getting rid of 105 to 106 degree temperature reading. Goodbye. I hope that doesn't come back anytime soon. Don't forget, you can always catch the latest forecasts on CBS2 and also on IdahoNews.com. 24 hours a day, I'm always updating the latest on the weather segment there, as well as our the rest of our crew on the weekends and in the morning. So thanks for tuning everybody. Uh, if you have any loose uh, patio furniture that has a tendency of growing into your neighbor's yard, you may want to secure that right now because I do think things are going to get a little bit interesting here in the Treasure Valley over the next couple of hours as these thunderstorms are just now starting to pop up. And by the way, if you get any fascinating pictures, please email me them, uh, roland at kboi2.com. Roland, R-O-L-A-N-D, at kboi2.com. Love to put the pictures on the air later on tonight. All right, see you soon.